Tu san was where you were, where you were, where you were, where you were. Chosen ones back with another powerful and productive video. Um, you have a strong presence. They can feel it and sense it. Right? I'm not lying. This is real, chosen ones. You see, if you are a chosen one, people normally love to be around you. Yeah. And you ask yourself why? It is all because you have a very strong presence. All right. And people like your presence because your presence feels like heaven to them. Just like as a chosen one, you know, the presence of God in your life feels heaven to you. All right. That is the same way. Your presence is also felt and it's just like heaven to other people, right? Great. So people always love to be around you. People love to associate with you, but it is you, the chosen one, that you, you always feel drained as a result of, you know, uh, people coming to you or you in the midst of people, all right? You are the one that always feel drained. It's like when um, you are in the midst of people, you know, they, 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 they draw from you, okay? And you can, you, you can feel it. You see, when you are being drained of your energy as a chosen one, you know for sure that Mm, your energy is not up to the foolish. You know, you will, you will definitely know as a chosen one, right? But the people, they love it. They like their presence. They like the energy they are tapping into, all right? For instance, if you are a chosen one, all right, and you are in a place, let's say a room, okay, this it happens to me i experience it severally you know where friends would do visit all right and as friends visit they love to be with me all right they love to stay some even feel comfortable to their standards they sleep very well all right great and you know one friend of mine for instance uh one time said Always, if I come to your place, I always f uh, feel asleep and I sleep deeply. But if I'm at my own place, you know, I don't feel like that. I don't sleep, All right? But anytime I come to your place, you know, I, 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 I feel good. Then he was like, oh, God is with you. God loves you. You know, it's like the presence of God is, is, is mighty in your room. Right, that was what he said. Okay, so this is just an example. All right, that your presence is felt by people and is sensed by people, right? And you know, people just want to be taken more. You know, there are people that they are energy vampires, all right, they are energy vampires, they just want be tapping into your energy, all right? But you, you that they are taken from, you know, you also feel less. You you sometimes don't feel okay. You see, the people want to be with you. They want to stay with you for long, you know, and or they want you to be with them, to stay with them for long. But to you, you as a chosen one, you know, you aren't feeling okay. You're feeling you know, you're not of yourself. So sometimes it's going to feel like you are, you are getting depressed. You are getting nervous. You are getting anxious or you're going to feel like, you know, you, you're being stressed up. All right. That is how you know if you are in the midst of people and this is happening, you know that mm, these people are, 
draining your energy. They are tapping from your energy. That is how you know. All right. So when such things happen, you want to take a leave or you want them to leave so that maybe you go into prayer, you go into meditation, you go into, you know, positive affirmations, saying positive affirmations. All right. Or to relax a little bit. All right. So that you recharge and regain, you know, the energy that has been, um, you know, taken out. And this always happened to Jesus Christ when he was on earth. All right. That is why in the scripture you find out that after Jesus goes to the mountain, the wilderness to pray. Okay. Where he feels, he feels the presence of God there. He feels charged, all right? And as he feels charged, he comes in the midst of the people, um, bless them, set the captives free. You know, heal the lepers, the crippled, whoever, right? Cast out demons from the demon-possessed people and stuff, liberate them, all right? As he does that, okay? Power always left him. Yes. And as power left, he has to go back to the wilderness to pray again, to recharge, to regain the energy that has been. That is why Jesus always loved his solitude. He always loved his solitude. He takes some times off to go to the wilderness to pray, to recharge, to refill. And that is what we can learn from Jesus as chosen ones that we can also do that will help us. We should know when a lot is being taken from us. All right. And we should know when to give and when to get back and recharge. All right. So it depends on the individual. You can do, you can recharge in your room can recharge in the forest, in the wilderness. You can recharge in a, on the mountain, whatever, okay? Where you feel, if you are there, you always sense and feel the presence of God, all right? That is the place you need to be to always recharge. As a chosen one, you need to get a, a place outside your home that should serve as a prayer ground, that should serve as a point of contact between you and your God. Yes, I'm telling you, every powerful and mighty chosen one, they normally have prayer mountains. Yes, where they go to spend quiet time, they go to read the scripture, they go to relax, they go to recharge, all right? They, they, they have a very serene, poised place, okay, that there is less human destruction there. That is where they go to normally recharge, to get refilled up, all right? So that is what you should be doing. If you are a chosen one, people always take from your energy. And if you don't meditate, you don't read the scripture, you don't pray, you don't engage in things that are positive. You don't do this breathing exercise. You don't exercise. You don't work out. You don't eat well. You always feel drained. You will always be stressed up. You will always be depressed. You will always have mental health issues. Yes, because everything is energy. And people can feel your energy. They can sense your energy. And they always want to take from you. Yes, they always want to take from you. Even you, you are so empathetic. And for you to sense other people's energy to know that the energy here is right, is not right. It all depends on your energy. All right? It all depends on your energy. So you should know where to spend more time at and where not to. Where to be and where not to be. People to spend time with and people not to spend time with. You should know all these people. You should observe as a chosen one. 
so that you don't feel left out, so that you don't get drained, so that you don't get frustrated always, all the time. So you can keep on going about your divine duties, your divine missions here on it. All right? You see, the presence is felt. You see, um, let me give it another typical example from the scripture where the woman with the issue of blood, all right, was moving through the crowd and was pressing in to touch the hem of Jesus' garment, all right? And she pushed through to touch the hem of Jesus' garment and she was made whole immediately. The blood that was flow, flowing for years dried up immediately. And um, Jesus felt it. The woman also felt it. The woman sensed and felt it. And know that mm, if I can get to Jesus, touch the hem of Jesus' garment, I know I'm going to be made whole. All right? Because Jesus was the one putting on the garment. And the presence of the Father of God was in him. All right? So the same way the power is in the garment he was putting on. So, and if you are a chosen one, because your presence is strong, if you are in the room, you light up the place. Okay? Um, let me not go there. Let me finish with what I'm trying to say. So the woman present too touch the hem of Jesus' garment. And she felt, she felt okay. What she was going through for years stopped at once. And Jesus also felt and sensed it, that someone touched, her, touched him, right? And he said, who touched me? And the disciples were like, Master, there are so many people here. How would we know who touched you? Then the woman because she also felt and sensed the power, she uh, went forward and said, Master, I touch you, right? And Jesus said to her, your faith has made you whole, right? So that is uh, a typical instance of, you know, how your presence is being felt and how you can also feel drain if something is, is 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 taken out from you when you know somebody tap into your power your presence your strong presence you can feel it all right if you are a chosen one your, your your presence is strong because when you enter a room okay you light up the room that is why you are one with a difference that is why you don't fit in that is why you are one of a kind you say it as it is because you always stand for the truth. So you say it as it is and you are the light in the room all the time because of the strong presence that you carry. This also make people, some people, to jealous you, to envy you, to hate on you for no reason because of the anointing, the presence of the Almighty, on your life all right great so that's it so don't forget the important thing I want you to get in this video is knowing when you are drained and when to recharge to refill all right so that you can balance your life okay that's it is very important it's very very important spending some time alone your solitude to recharge Knowing where you can feel the presence of God, where you can go when you need help. As a chosen one, you should know this. As an individual, you should know when, when, when life is getting harder for you and things are getting tougher and you feel stressed, depressed, you know, you're not feeling okay. You should know where to run to. Yes, you should know where to go. You should know what to do. All right. And that's it. These are things you need to figure them out and stay true to them. And it's going to help you to stay on the rightful journey. And I tell you, 
you will never uh, get so depressed, get so stressed up that you cannot focus on your life anymore. All right. Great. So that is it. Thank you so much, chosen ones. Thank you for watching this. See you in my next video. I'm out for now.